Okay guys, in the previous video we took the default cube from Blender, we exported it and then we re-imported it to Decentraland and it looked something like that, like the cube in the, in the background. Now if you notice there are two cubes behind me now and there is a difference between these two. Let me show you what. So this is cube number one that we imported in the video prior to this one. We can just run through this cube. It's not solid, it's penetrable, it's, you can walk through it. Whereas this cube is solid. It's like a wall, you cannot walk through it. Now, there is a special attribute that we need to change in Blender when exporting an object like that in order to add this solid quality. In game design, you call this a collider. And today I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that exactly. So let's switch over to Blender. Uh, where is Blender? Here it is. This is the default cube. Now if you select the default cube, you will notice that it will light up here in the scene collection. And this is the object cube. It has a mesh and it has a material. Now what we want to do is to right click onto this object, copy, right click again and paste and now we have a, an exact duplicate of that cube placed directly on top of the other cube. So if we deactivate one, we still see the previously added cube. And if we deactivate it, we don't see anything at all. So these are two cubes which look exactly the same and that are placed exactly on top of each other. In order to make one of the cubes invisible and solid we need to add underscore collider to it now as soon as we do that and we import that file to decentraland decentraland will recognize the second object as a collider as an invisible solid object and because it lies exactly on top of the original cube we will be under the impression that the original cube became solid. So let's see if that actually works. I will go to File, Export, as we did before, GLTF2. I will move over to Desktop. I will name this Box Solid. I will just quickly make sure that I know what I have selected here. So right now we haven't got anything selected. That means selected objects will not be considered. Everything from the scene will be exported. So both objects that we have on top of each other will be exported. Let's do that. All right. And now we move over to the Builder tool. Let me quickly remove both objects so don't, we don't confuse things. Let me create a new asset pack just for this tutorial. And let me, I think this was box three. I, I should be more careful naming these things. No, it was box solid, box solid, of course. Import, continue, box solid, create asset pack. So now I should have a new folder here for my solid box. Let's click on it to add it as we did in the previous video. Let's readjust it a little bit. So now if you publish this to my land, we should be able to see only one cube, not two. And it should be as solid as this one and not as penetrable as the original cube. Let's quickly reload the scene. So these colliders are super important when you design for your land, especially for walls and for furniture, I would say. It gives it a bit of a realistic experience. I, I hate it when I can walk through everything. It feels, it feels unreal. Okay, let's see, only one cube. That's good. Is it solid? It's solid, I cannot walk through it. So here we go, guys. 
If you want to make an object solid, you need to create a collider object. For this particular shape, it's just the exact duplicate of this shape with the collider underscore collider attached to the object name. Now, if you have a more complex shape, you might not want to have an exact copy in, in order to save triangles and resources. You may want to choose a, a simpler shape and because it's invisible, it wouldn't matter. But you know, that, that is already complicated stuff. Let's keep these things for these tutorials really simple. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope this was useful. Leave me a comment if this is good stuff. And um, if you have any other particular questions that are to be covered in the future. All right, guys, take it easy.